What's going on everyone? Welcome to MIUI um, version 4.2.2 um, Jelly Bean here. So this is my recommendation for um, this week. Very great ROM, very stable and very fast. So let's go ahead and check out the lock screen. Uh, you should be familiar with it, but if you're not, this is the lock screen camera, phone, messaging and unlock. Let's go to camera. Unfortunately, these targets can't be changed, so you are stuck with it. And um, yeah, this is camera. It features um, eight me megapixel photos and uh, four ATP videos. Unfortunately, you can't um, get 1080p to work here. So um, yeah, JPEG quality is called super. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Um, it's 480p. And you can also go to low, I think then it's uh, 10p. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can change to uh, external storage. You can try um, another camera application like the stock, like the stock, um, stock 4.1.2 camera. Maybe that works out with 1080p, but um, let's go on. Um, now we go to notification tray. Um, these are your notifications. So basically nothing has changed here from 4.1.1 uh, MIUI to 4.2.2, which I'm showing you right now. There's um, no major changes. Um, it still looks the same. So let's go straight to settings. Um, I go a little bit in depth um, in some minutes for the home screen, but... Um, Still, uh, same ROM, same interface as in previous versions. So these are your quick settings. Go to launcher. Then I can show you, you can change the cell type. Um, this is a little bit different from older versions because you can now also go to three by three and transitional effects. You know that very great effects, uh, wallpaper scroll types. Um, you also know that you can play with it, but yeah, three by three. I want to show you that loading launcher, and now you have three icons by three icons. So, yeah, more home screens, but yeah, a little bit weird. But you can also bump it up to like six by seven, I think. Yeah, the see highest settings, I, I guess. Six icons by seven. Let's uh, actually refresh it. And um, yeah, I think four by four and four by five is the most useful one. So let's go to four by five, go back and go to wallpaper. Wallpaper is um, the wallpaper app is the best, I think, on Android ever because these wallpapers are high quality and they are free. And you have like infinite, infinite number of great wallpapers. Um, so just here are your recent wallpapers. When you go straight to the left, um, written signs here. I don't know what that means. I think it's, it means recent. Um, so yeah, here are your recent wallpapers. These are also recent wallpapers, but I don't know the exact, um, name of it there. So let's actually go ahead and download this one, hit apply and easy as that, very fast download and loading launcher and now shows you um, great wallpaper. Yeah, this one is very cool. So let's um, go back to settings and uh, go back. Uh, go back once again and uh, now we go to all settings and um, you can change LED notifications, uh, pul pulse notification light, um, yeah, notification light color. You can change it to every color you like. It works perfect for our Razer which has a notification light like unlike most other phones um, from that year. But um, let's actually go to battery. Now I can uh, show you how to change that. 
So now it's graphical. You can see that. Uh, let's actually autofocus on that. Um, so yeah, this is only the uh, standard battery side. You can go to percentage and now it's percentage. So that's that. Very easy. Um, yeah. Let's check out battery use real quick. I have used this ROM like one day now or two. Um, and this is the battery graph. You can see that the battery is um, pretty good. MIUI ROMs are always a little bit um, more intense on the battery use, but it's always um, a point of uh, personal use. And uh, if you're a gamer, then of course, battery won't last that long, or if you hear music all the time. Phone idle um, should be first. No, screen should be first. But this will um, rearrange if you use it more days. And um, I also are in, um, I also am in Wi Fi all the time. So that will change when you have mobile data on. Um, power settings, a balance. You can also go to high performance. Um, I think this will change the governor for your CPU, but I always keep it on balanced. Original settings, USB computer connection, about phone. These are your standard settings or um, about phone things. Build number, you can always go ahead and uh, click eight times or so, then you will have um, entered the developer mode and performance is now also available. These settings are included experimentation. Yeah. Processor speed, you can change it. Unfortunately, it's, um, it's limited to 1.2 gigahertz dual core. Um, this is the performance governor. I think when you, um, hit, uh, when you go to battery and then change to high performance, it will just change the governor. Um, yeah, D and D. These are silenced. Yeah. So nothing new here. I think there's nothing more to show you here. So let's go to our home screen. And actually I show you how to add a widget and other stuff. So this is new, a little bit different look you get here in your home screen settings menu so let's go to widget actually and add one um clock i think we go for four by two four by two yeah you can also change the size of it if you're not familiar with it let's go back and then go to personal clocks um big one this looks the best, I think. Yeah, looks great. And then go on with the um, wallpaper app. I showed you that. So now you can um, see your current downloaded wallpapers here. You can always browse for more. Um, File Explorer and Live Wallpapers, which are the standard ones you get with your phone. Then go back and... Um, you can uh, also change effects here. So let's check um, uh, which one is great here. Cascade looks a little bit like ICS. App drawer. So yeah, new effect. So yeah, this is um, MIUI basically. Nothing has changed. As you can see, this is now a live tile. And um, I don't know if it shows current current dates, um, current uh, tasks or so, but um, as you can see, it's a little bit like a live tile on Windows 8. And yeah, um, this is MIUI. Um, and if you like this ROM, you can download it. I will post the links in the description as always. And um, as always, I also thank you for watching this ROM review and um, questions. You can post them in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.
and outtakes. Hey guys, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another great ROM review for this week's ROM of the week. And um, um, yes, what's going on everyone? Welcome to this ROM of the 